Grade 7 math number 13.2D, dependent versus independent compound events. This is for theoretical or experimental probability. A compound event is made up of two or more simple events. And we write the number of ways the compound event can happen compared to the total of equally likely outcomes. So we're going to show the difference between dependent and independent compound events. So a dependent compound event they're dependent on each other. Let's say I have a bag of eight pieces of candy, four orange and four grape, and I pick out an orange candy and I eat it. Now there's three orange and four grape candies. My probability went from four out of eight chances of getting grape to now it's four out of seven chances of getting grape because now there's only four candies in there. And this is dependent on what I did before. See? Because I didn't put the candy back. Now let's say I pick out another candy and I get another orange one. Now there's six candies left. There's only two orange ones. And there's four grape ones. Now my probability of picking grape is four out of six. See? I changed the probability dependent on what happened before. I changed the probability depending on what I did before because I didn't put the candy back, all right? So let's say um, I have a deck of 52 cards. I want to pick a heart card from the deck of cards. Now because there's 13 hearts, 13 clubs, 13 diamonds, and 13 spades, that makes the 52 cards. I've got a 13 chance out of 52 of getting a heart card because that's how many are in the deck of 52. Let's say I don't put the heart card back. Let's say I put it off to the side on the table and I pick another card from the deck. Well, I've got a 12 out of 51 chance of picking a heart card this time because now there's only 12 hearts and there's 51 cards because I put that one on the side on the table. I didn't put it back in the deck. So see how I changed the proportion? I changed the probability of getting a heart card. Now let's say I pick a heart card again. Just luckily I get a third heart card. Now, I've got an 11 out of 50 chance of getting a heart card because now there's only 11 hearts in the deck out of 50 cards in the deck because the two are off on the side, see? And this is dependent on what I did before because I didn't put them back and I picked them out, okay? An independent compound event is picking a soda flavor, cherry, strawberry, cola, and then picking a size, small, medium, and large. They don't depend on each other. They're independent. The flavor and the size have nothing to do with each other. How about I choose a brand of toothpaste and then I choose a large tube or a small tube? That's got nothing to do with the brand. They all come in large or small. How about if I choose whole milk 2% or 1%? That's a simple event. But then I choose it to be in a gallon, a quart, or a pint. That's a simple event. Now, these two simple events together make a compound event that I chose whole milk in a gallon. Or if I choose slippers or gym shoes and then I choose a color, that's a simple event, that's a simple event, but together they make a compound event and they, they're independent of each other. Or if I roll dice and get a number and spin a spinner and pick a color, the dice doesn't help me pick the color and the spinner doesn't help me pick a number on the dice, they're completely independent of each other, see? But they're both simple events. So that's the difference between dependent and independent compound events, and that's the difference between a simple event and a compound event, okay? I hope this was helpful. I hope you understand now, and I'll see you next video. Bye.